Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black and Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. And Terrence. What's up? All right, guys, we're back. Uh, this episode is a preview episode for episode 244, 1001. Uh, the, this is a 2023 film. Um, the logline here is, after unapologetic and fiercely loyal Inez captures, or excuse me, kidnaps her son Terry from a foster care system, Mother and son set out uh, to reclaim their sense of home, identity, and stability in a rapidly changing New York City. Um, this is this is starring uh, Tiana Taylor, uh, Aaron Kinsley, uh, Adatola, and uh, Avon Courtney. So you can watch this. It is streaming on Peacock exclusively. Um, so check that out uh, next week. Looks like a pretty interesting film. None of us have seen it yet. Um, so again, this is a 2023 film, so it's pretty new. Uh, it's got very good reviews. So if you're interested, check out the, the, um, the trailer again, it's a thousand and one all spelled out, not numbers. Um, all right. Random topic this week, by the way, Tiara is not here. She should be back, um, for episode 244. Um, random topic this week. Whew. Okay. Uh, apparently the good folks over at the root, um, uh, Stephanie Holland and Candace McDuffie wrote an article called surprising celebrities. We totally invite to the black summer cookout. And I'll just say this. I don't want to come to your cookout because this is a terrible ass list. Um, so we're going to talk about it. We'll go through it. I think that it's what nine people or some shit like that. Um, and give our thoughts. And then maybe we'll talk about some people. We would. People. Is it 17? Okay. Um, like and we'll talk about Jesus. people we would actually invite to the, to the cookout. Um, and to be fair, these- to be fair, they, to be fair, and the root also published another one, uh, that is, that looks exclusively like black celebrities. So, oh, okay. uh, but they're oh, yeah. black. I wouldn't, run it, I wouldn't want to run it through that too. Yeah. But, oh, but they're black, celebrities. They're like, okay. All right. You but know. they are all celebrities. All right. Can you send us, Micah, send us that yeah. list too. We'll, we will, uh, we'll go through this, this terrible list and then we'll, we'll see how good the second list is. See if they redeem themselves. Um, all right. So starting off, this is a wild list. Um, starting off is, um, Jane Fonda, which is a, okay. Like I'm not, I'm not mad at this choice. Like it's not a bad choice. It seems like an odd one. Um, the problem I have with this list is they don't give a reason. They're just like, Oh, that seems like a cool white person for all of them. Okay. Yeah. So, technically, Jane Fonda's not first on this list. She's, uh, like, fifth. But uh, it says that Jane has a history of never holding back and speaking out about white supremacy, from calling out sexism in Hollywood and holding white men accountable for climate change. Uh, The legendary activist would be quite the conversationalist uh, with guests at the cookout. Look, I got no beef with Jane Fonda. I I got no beef with any of these people, right? Um, I don't have a beef with anyone on this list. They're just... This list stinks. No, no. <laughs> Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. I'm, I don't I'm not mad at because she was like she went pretty fucking hard on like Trump and shit. She was like, nah, fuck him. <laughs> like I don't fuck with that dude like that. Well, so I, I, I think that. Jane Fonda. I think Jane Fonda might be interesting to talk to. Right? Yeah, like, probably. Didn't they like shun her because she was against the Vietnam War? Also, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's, she's like been a thousand a years old. Yeah, she's been, <laughs> she's been like a hardcore feminist. Um, yeah, for like a, a very major, long time. Major icon of the feminist movement. Yeah. So yeah, I got no problems with Jane Fonda. Also, uh, Grace and Frankie is hilarious. Like those. those yes, that <laughs> is a very good show. I love it. <laughs> that's like one of uh, that's like one of their first original series on Netflix. Um, number two, Bernie Sanders. Like, I like I like most of Bernie's politics, but like, I don't want to have a cookout where Bernie Sanders is there. I'd be like, yo, get away from me. <laughs> like. I like, stop talking like, about the millionaires. Million 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 I'm just trying to have ribs. Yo. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Bernie? Like I'm right here. Does he wear hair? Any? <laughs> he should. <laughs> He's screaming at people all the time. I'm like, yeah, relax, relax, uh, Bernard. This seems like a wild choice. the The reason is, you know, <coughs> again, don't don't write this, Uncle Bernie. Stop it. Um, it's not my own. No, uh, would definitely make. Uh, make himself comfortable at the cookout. Uh, yeah, and everyone else uncomfortable. Uh, we can imagine him um, post up in a lawn chair, remembering all the times America fumbled their chance to have him as president. 
<laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really <laughs> shitty time of having someone talk about themselves all the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to hear about that. I saw it. Yeah. No, this is this, this <laughs> like I don't this I choice. know you, you yeah. I can think of other I can think of other politicians, um, even white ones that I would rather have at the cookout than uh, Bernie. Um I don't know, man. He just seems um like I'm not gonna say black people don't fuck with Bernie Sanders. A lot don't like the majority of black people don't fuck with Bernie Sanders. Like I like I understand there are like there's like black leftists and socialist movements out there. Of course. But I I I never I can never trust someone who has like legions of fans that are obsessed with them. And it, while it's not his fault that people are obsessed with him, he's not really telling them to like tone it down either. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that's just ego. It's <laughs> <Here's laughs> an experiment. If he wasn't running for president, and you were to ask your father, Micah, who Bernie Sanders was, do you think he would know who the fuck the nigga was? <laughs> no, I don't. Know I don't know now. Uh, uh, yeah, he knows <laughs> who Bernie Sanders is. <laughs> okay. And he's and he's befuddled by some of his policies just because <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, well, how, but how though? <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to get that shit working? I how mean, I follow like, all right. politics, and a lot of my questions are, but <laughs> like, how though? So, exactly. Right. He's, like, he's well, very like, much the end result. Yeah. Like I've yeah. seen, I've seen uh, Bernie fans come at black people who criticize, not even criticize, who 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 dare question, question. yeah, at yeah, Bernie Sanders, and and say, well, that's you're voting against your own interests, and that's <coughs> why you are you are that's why you're the reason why black people are where they are. Like, whoa, you need to calm the fuck down, yo. Yeah. It gets- uh, at, any person, any person that can elicit that type of reaction from people, I don't. Nah, they got to pay the price. Nah, I don't want <laughs> you. Pay the, like, I don't want you. What, what did I do? Like, what no, did I do? You. I'm just talking about millionaires and billionaires. Like, nah, yo, nah, I don't, <laughs> nah. This I don't your want fault, that. I don't want that. Plus, yeah, yeah, I, I kind of want to be. Like I kind of want to be a millionaire like, and a billionaire. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, somebody gonna be in the comments furious about you wanting to <laughs> improve your station. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Like my thing is, like most older black folks don't know who Bernie Sanders is. Like if they, if he, again, I, like I said, if he didn't actually um, run for president, they wouldn't know who the fuck he was. No, most Americans wouldn't have known who he was. Right. If we're being, if we're being honest, they wouldn't know. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a that that's a no go. Um, and look th- again, liking <coughs> his policies, God forbid how they would get done, but liking his policies <laughs> is not enough of a reason for me to invite him to the cookout. Um, next up, I don't think any of us know who this person is. Sam Hunt. Um, he is a, uh, country music star. Mm -hmm. Sam Hunt, uh, has enough drip that I'm reading. This is not my personal thoughts. (laughs) Okay. One, I'm not going to use the word drip ever. Um, for a country music star, Sam Hunt has enough drip to successfully up the ante at any cookout. He's just wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Um, from his impressive vocals to chill demeanor, he would immediately fit in. Did we mention he's a Destiny's Child Destiny's Child fan? Uh, okay. I, I don't know who this is. <laughs> I, I really don't. I don't have any problem with this person. I just don't know who this is. Um, I'm looking at uh I'm looking at pictures of this dude. It's a handsome guy. I don't know if I would classify what he's wearing in these pictures as drip. Uh the first image on Google <laughs> Images is is a white collared shirt uh, and a hat, and oh. then the second one is a black shirt, and then the third one is a black shirt, and then the fourth <laughs> one is a black shirt with a hat, and then and then a tux, right? Like he he must have been like at an award show, and then the next one is a black shirt, and then the next one is a black shirt, and then the next one is a black shirt with a backwards hat. So I don't <laughs> understand where the <laughs> I don't understand where the drip comes from. But uh, look, look, just if, say if this dude say, is a nice guy. It, just say this look, dude just, is a nice guy. All right, that's fine. Like just write in your article. I think he's really handsome. <laughs> like that's it. Like yeah, is that your yeah. reason? Like because yeah. it's not for his clothing choices. This this guy's not even dressing unique. 
I dress like this. No one has ever right. said. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at his clothes. I'm like, nigga, this is what I wear every day. <laughs> right. Like, yo, I got I got a five pack of uh, very nice Goodfellows uh, black t-shirts from Target. <laughs> you two are quite literally cosplaying as Sam Hunt. Right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> the black shirts. It's fucking ridiculous. Yo. That's right. Like, and I walk outside and y'all would call me a clown. But this nigga's like, oh, but I want to fuck this nigga. So it's fine. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's just that. hilarious. Relax. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of I just want to sleep with this person uh l- listing on this. Um uh number four, uh Adele. Yeah. I I'm do okay like some that. Adele. Yeah, I do yeah. like some Adele. I like Adele too. I think she's a really super talented singer. Um she clearly learned to sing by listening to black women sing. That is obvious. Um yeah, especially because her like regular voice is just like the most low class British voice ever. <laughs> She's just rolling in the deep, right? And it's oh, blimey, Beyonce, I love you. <laughs> like whoa, like whoa, female I need Michael Payne. <laughs> it kind of is, yeah, it is. Like I'm gonna need you to just sing all the <laughs> words. I'm gonna need you to pull up R. Kelly and just sing everything you say. That's fucking hilarious. Now she uh, looked, like a she dated like um like a uh, British black rapper at one point too, didn't she? She's dating a black dude now, I think. That's right? What I thought. Yeah, Something. yeah. Because I saw because I saw uh, an article See? where her family was was concerned about her dating this black dude because they thought that he was going to like trade up on on her uh, fame. And the dude she was dating is like a is like a a mogul. Or oh, Rich Paul. <laughs> yeah, Rich Paul. Yeah. He's a fucking Rich NBA Paul. agent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna screw you, Adele. I, he's probably okay. Like he's probably doing fine. See, that's see, that's racism, yo. Like that that's hardcore. <laughs> I don't know about this black guy. He might have more money than Adele, yo. <laughs> like relax, relax. He's fine. Uh, yeah, that's uh, I I guess that's um. Yeah, that's that's our fiance. Okay, all right, good for them. Good for them. Um, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that Rich Paul uh, uh, landed the golden parachute. <laughs> he was doing he was doing nothing with his life besides uh, making people a whole lot of money. Yeah, he was ba- he barely barely scraping by, just walking down the street, met Adele, <laughs> and then things went from there. <laughs> Okay. She did him a favor. <laughs> <laughs> she plucked him from obscurity. <laughs> like, who is this guy? Um, bizarre choice number five, Brie Larson. Um, is it? Because I don't understand this at all. Is it just because she said, "Hey, uh, can I have some non-white men interview me for a movie?" And then white men lost their fucking collective minds. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Like. All right. Like, that, there's nothing against Brie Larson. She seems like a perfectly fine person. That doesn't mean you get to come to the cookout. I'm sorry. I don't want none of these niggas at the cookout is what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> I don't want them. I'm Melissa, McCar- Melissa McCarthy. This is a this is an odd choice. Why? Yeah, it's an odd choice, Why? yo. It's a super odd choice. She and her, she and your uncle are going to trade some hilarious one-liners. Because she's funny? What the fuck? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> like, like if that's the case, I would rather you know who I would rather have at the cookout. We're just talking about celebrities, Ali Wong, because she's yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Like she's I would as fuck. personally invite Ali Wong. Yeah. yeah, no, that that's fair. And look, there there <laughs> like, are other there are other non-black comedians that I would choose first. Right. I feel like Bill, a, Burr be be <laughs> Bill Burr would be fucking hilarious. Bill Burr would be awesome. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, him and his wife, they can they can come. Yeah, that's right. Another one, but only because he's dating the lovely. He, only because he's married to the lovely Nia. <laughs> That's correct. you got. You got a pad. You got a pad. Right. You got a way exactly. in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, another odd choice. Uh, Mark <laughs> Hamill. I don't understand this, I, and I love Mark Hamill. He's, he's like look, we all movies. love. We all love Mark Hamill, yo. We do, but okay. I feel like Mark Hamill would be incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> yes, he would be like a, a gathering full of nothing but like he he seems a little uncomfortable at like conventions. You know, he don't I mean? want to be there. He don't want to be there. <laughs> now, I will I will give Mark Hamill this single uh, credit as far as blackness is concerned. Uh, on Father's Day, he always tweets to James Earl Jones, "Happy birthday, Dad," <laughs> which I think is hilarious. 
<laughs> um, so I, I do appreciate that. But, like, I don't have a problem with Mark Hamill. I love Mark Hamill. He's great. Oh. It just seems like an odd choice. Here's the, here's the thing about this. Because, like, a cookout, like, you have family members that are not going to know some of these people, who these people are, right? That is correct. I mean, you're going to have niggas at your cookout. <laughs> like, who the fuck like, is like, Mark when we come, when, <laughs> Right, like, who the fuck is this white boy? Like, who is this? I don't know who this is. Like, you're like, going to have your uncles right. there uh, drinking fucking Thunderbird or whatever the fuck <laughs> garbage alcohol that they're drinking, <laughs> getting incredibly drink, drunk, drinking, uh, playing spades. It's just going to be a mess. So if you got, like, Bernie Sanders there, yeah, yeah, I, first I of all, you know what? Need... Fuck it. Bring them. I would fucking laugh my ass off <laughs> just to see the interaction between them and like my my real nigga ass family. <laughs> like at a cookout in Tanner Park in, in New York. I would and love Ber- to see. It. Bernie complained like, you cut me. <laughs> we were going to go to <laughs> Boston. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> like, it would be really weird to have any of these people there. Yeah. Um, like, look. <laughs> the next one, Lin Manuel Miranda. Um, okay, Fine. one. I mean, he grew up in fucking Washington Heights. I mean, he's sure. I'm sure he's been around a bunch of pl- black folks. Right. Like uh, this feels. This feels like an obvious one. However, yeah. I mean, I could see it's a fitting, terrible probably. picture. Thank you. That's this what I was gonna terrible. say. Yo. Why did they make this picture of Lin Manuel Miranda? Yo, why? Yeah. Why? Yo? Are you not a fan of his? Yo, this is the worst picture. Yo, I've this should be the right? fucking the cover for this fucking episode. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's like, yo, why? Yo? It's what so do you ridiculous. Do? What do you do, yo? <laughs> yo y'all cool. still mad at him? Y'all still mad at him for what was that movie in the Heights? Like y'all still mad because they put enough black? Uh, oh, because they put enough dark, dark yeah, Afro Latinos uh, in there. They were like, nah, right. fuck him. We gonna put him on the list, but fuck him anyway. That's fucked Have up. You heard I'll the song that him. he wrote for fucking uh, for for um the Little Mermaid, the Scuttlebutt? No, is it good? He's got a, it's like a, it's trash. It's like the worst song I've ever heard him do. I'm like, yo, this is gross. Well, first of all, Aquafina is singing it, rapping it, and that's yeah. automatically, I don't like it to begin with. But then, like, nah, I'm like, this is, I like him a lot, but like, it's terrible. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> like, it's terrible. Yeah. And dude's super yeah, he, talented. I man. guess super he'd be talented. fine. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Like, give me a like, dollar. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like somebody's black cousin dating like a <laughs> Puerto Rican dude. Like, that's how he gets in. <laughs> You're like, nah, he's real cool. You're like, okay, that's fine. Uh, Travis Kelsey, I don't know who this is. You guys watch, or Micah, you watch football. I don't know who this is. He, uh, he's a uh, tight end. Uh, like, right. Yes, he's a tight end for uh, the Kansas City Chiefs who uh, just won the Super Bowl. Um, and uh, as you do when you win the Super Bowl, you get invited to Saturday Night Live. Uh, and he hosted Saturday Night Live once. And uh, he's, a, he's a very aff- affable guy. Right, seems like a very nice guy. Uh, has dated uh, a black woman. Uh, I don't know if he still does, which is probably why he's on this list. Uh, he's one of the uh, he's one of the white men that Tiara swoons for. Oh, so he's not uh, just affable, I know he's effable. Got it. <laughs> 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 That's why. Okay, got it. That's why he's on this list. Okay, he got this. He looked like he got his. He looked like he got his fade done at a black barbershop. Yeah, he either. probably did. Like if you hear him talk, you know. Yeah, he's got the you know it's not like full blown like black scent, but he's hung around black folks. In his okay, time. all right, I see, I see how this works. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't like it. You know? Yeah, you can, you can, you can hang out with us, yo. You don't need to try to imitate us. It's annoying. I agree with you. Look, it, look, if it's between him or his brother, I would pick him. Uh, his brother looks like. Uh, one of those white dudes that I'm that I that I cross the street when I when I see him. he's a bi- he's a much bigger dude with a much bigger beard and he's he's like a shit kicking white guy and, and uh, no I, I Jason Kelsey is uh, that dude's name <coughs> like and, I've seen uh, a podcast with with him his brother and his mom I think um, yeah on there and you know I mean they seem fine. Like I think yeah, I would rather like cool his brother because his brother's not trying to act like you know black. His brother is who he is, you know. Yeah. Well, he that's the thing. I think that is. I think that is who Travis Kelsey is. Maybe. Right? Maybe. Like, he's, just, born. he's just born into that shit. Yeah, it's Ohio. like uh, it's like Tom Hanks' son. <laughs> like that's just who he is <laughs> with his with his Jamaican accent. <laughs> that's just who. He is. 
<laughs> oh, that motherfucker. Good Lord. Nah, that's TR's favorite celebrity. He should be on the list. <laughs> he should Westlake, be Ohio. Hmm, yeah, you know. Okay. Huh. Oh, well, that's, that's where they got that big fucking prison. <laughs> Cuyahoga <laughs> County. <laughs> so, maybe he knows. Uh, so maybe he has hung around a bunch of fucking criminal ass. Wow. Names. Who knows? Wow. Wow. That's Again, Lin- Linda Carter. <laughs> hey, I mean, I said it. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like the, uh, what was it? The uh, air culture thing. Oh, they're going <laughs> to, black people are going to be tipping here. <laughs> exactly 0% change. That's fucked up. It's funny. That might be the funniest like, thing. That might be the funniest thing she's ever written in her entire life. Yo, I could not be mad at that. <laughs> this shit was hilarious. I'm like, you're an asshole. But at the same time, we're not Again, like for- sometimes I don't get sometimes if it's funny, I don't give a fuck who the mes- messenger is, man. I'm gonna laugh. Sorry. Maybe <laughs> look, I'm not progressive enough. That should I look <laughs> I did not take it. I don't take her guy. seriously because she is not she is not a serious person. Um <sighs> Next up, again in the uh, the uh, effable category by these um, authors, uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Why? I don't yeah. understand this at all. <coughs> I, I don't understand this at all. Yeah, uh, yeah Daniel Radcliffe see seems like a yeah. He's supposed to see what he's, he, he seems like a nice guy, right? Like again, yeah. I don't have a beef with any of these people, but like I'm not inviting Harry Potter to the cookout. Like I'm not invited. Like that's where my like, you said it earlier. Like that's where my family is, man. Like who the like this is not Harry Potter, my nigga. Right. No, like, like, this like, is who not, is this? Right. Like that. that like. And, and if you say that's Harry Potter, people they'll be like, no, it's not. Like what are you doing with a beard? Right. <laughs> like Harry Potter don't have a beard. Where his glasses at? Come on, Where's man. Like this ain't Harry Potter. You're Spider Man. You bring, your, you bring, like you bring Harry Potter to Preston Street, nigga. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. like, you got to nigga that's talking about him right to his face. Man, if you get your Harry Potter looking ass out of here, yeah, yeah, you can't have that. You can't have him in there. Yeah, that's crazy. It just that's seems a, odd to me. It just seems odd to me. It, this, uh, this, this choice, choice makes no sense. Again, another person these authors just want to sleep with. Again, we get it, but come on. Chris Hemsworth, why? 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 He's really handsome. Yes, he's a very handsome guy. <laughs> Come on, yo. Like, if anything, I'd be, I'd be like, I'd be like, yo, are you going to do any more of these ridiculous extraction movies? Because <laughs> they're fun. <laughs> End of conversation. Um, again, another one. Chris Pine. Hey, are you gonna I, are you gonna carry uh, Gal Gadot through Wonder Woman three? That's my only question <laughs> to you. Like, yeah, I don't. I, I, I don't. It's a stupid fucking list, yo. It's just dumb. It's not a good list. Like, I'm not inviting Chris Pine to my inner circle. You know what I mean? Like, right? Yo, it's a weird choice. Yo, it's a weird choice. You know what I mean? What does he bring into the conversation? Right. I I just, uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I I don't know. This is this is maybe one of the all time worst like white people you'd bring to the cookout list. Like it, it, it. Amy Klobuchar is on this list. Why? Yo, that yo, because she ate a salad would, with a comb once. Yo, come on, yo, knock it off. I would be like, get the fuck out of my face. I couldn't, I couldn't take her voice, yo. Yeah, it's pretty. Like annoying. if she starts talking to me, I'd be like, yo, I got it. <laughs> get out <laughs> and walk away. And she like seems like a tryhard. You know what I mean? Obnoxious. Oh, she, she seems definitely like a tryhard. Try she's a tryhard. Like, I, like I am gonna make friends and influence people at this cookout i'm just yeah. like i she's I giving out she's giving out her man. business card she's talking about call me on monday but, you know like nah yo leave me alone amy like leave me alone uh, nah yo nah but nah. Uh, but i i do believe because amy klobuchar is like slightly kind of crazy like if shit popped off amy klobuchar might be there to ready to fight <laughs> like i'm not gonna lie yo, she's nuts <laughs> she's kind of crazy uh, she um, might have Vaseline in her purse. She, she'd be like, hold on, like, <laughs> tie my fucking hair up. <laughs> like, who are we fighting? Like, you just got here, Amy. Calm down. Uh, look, I love Elizabeth Warren. Uh, she's a big, big old dork. No. <laughs> like, no. You're a big old dork. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like Elizabeth Warren. Like, <laughs> look, I, I really dig Elizabeth Warren. Um, that's that's kind of the person that I was backing during the whole primaries and all that. I, I really dig Elizabeth Warren. Um, I feel like 
I feel like Elizabeth Warren would like she she would be comfortable, but she would be real boring because, like you said, like she's she's a nerd, right? And she's like just talking yeah. about all this like important shit. And I think people's eyes would glaze over. But I also think, <laughs> like but I also think. Frankie, Beverly, and Maze. But that's the thing, right? What is this? But that's the she thing, right? That's that's it. That's it. She might get up and start dancing. Like, I see yeah. her, like, I can see a little, little electric slide. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Look, yeah. Angie Yang should be on this list, right? I can't stand his ass. <laughs> but that dude did go to that, like, some event. And it was like, yo, your electric slide is, like, way too good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not bad, not bad, better than mine. Um, yeah, Elizabeth Warren feels like if you, for some reason, invited your English teacher to your house, like <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, like, that's it. Yeah, you be like, that's it. yeah, like like little kids how they think like their teachers live at school. Like, like what are you doing outside of school? Like this doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, and I think that is the end of the list. Okay, yeah. so let's look at the celeb. The black celebrities that uh, so this list was done in uh, November of two thousand two. Just uh, just okay. so that uh, oh, <laughs> just so you're aware. Okay. okay, yeah, twenty twenty two. So twenty twenty two. Okay, uh, Maya Angelou. Yeah, I mean, an icon. Cookout, so <laughs> she's no longer here, but she was at the cookout in um, Poetic Justice. Yeah, so she yeah. was. Yeah, we've already seen her at a cookout. Yep, uh, she, she's already in. Oprah? Uh, Oprah? No, would I feel I like Oprah. Oprah my, no. Would I want Oprah at my cookout? Nah. She, Yo, uh, like, would Oprah just, want would Oprah want to come to your broke ass cookout? I don't <laughs> right. think so. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> might, she might. knows. She I mean, coming. she from nah, Baltimore. She's a billionaire. She from Baltimore. Yeah, but she. Yeah, yeah. But guess what? Guess what? The, the you'll learn this very very soon. Once you leave Baltimore, you ain't trying to go back. <laughs> I mean, you're not. <laughs> I mean, not trying to go. I, I believe you, you left and me as already back. having senioritis. I mean, you kind of <laughs> right. You left and came back due to extenuating circumstances. One hundred percent. Right. You ain't leaving. You ain't leaving San Diego on any other, you know, or California nah, on nah, any nah, other reason nah, nah. to come back to Baltimore. Yeah, I right, miss the so. weather. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, man, I miss the high. I miss the high murder rate. Yeah, boy, I, I, I'm not used to I'm not used to a murder rate being under 300 people a year. <laughs> is it still That's that so low? Goddamn sad. Is it still Jesus that Christ. low? I just what? got a text is message. Uh, the, I still got I got a text message the other day from the mayor's office. Like, hey, remember, kids, curfews in effect for the entire <laughs> summer. Stop shooting each other. I was like, right, you're right. You're right. Uh, look, has Baltimore ever had a KDR of one? <laughs> you're an asshole. Like, yeah, I'm, you're an like, asshole. I'm for real. <laughs> you're an asshole. You're an asshole. Just say it, yo. It's not. It's happen, not inconceivable. Though. It's not it's inconceivable insane, that though. there are 360 homicides in Baltimore in one year. It's, it's, it's not. It, we average like 300 a year. It's fucking insane, yeah, man. It's absolutely insane. And there's only 600 thousand people in the goddamn in the um city. In the entire You're talking about Baltimore city. city, Baltimore, or like combined? No, no, in the in the actual no, city. just the city. In in the city, yeah, six hundred thousand people in Baltimore city, and we average like three hundred murders a year. That's absolutely. That's right. fucking crazy. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I don't, yeah, I I mean, yeah, she would mm. come with all kind of security. But like, nah. <laughs> Michael, what year did you say this this was this was made? 2022. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. Because this next one is a fucking problem. It's a fucking problem. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, one, <laughs> one, one. This is fucked up. Because why you got to put them both on the same page? Yo? Yeah, what the fuck is that all about? Yeah, yo, you separate them. You're you can only have fan. one or the other. Like, come on, yo. Nah, yeah, you got, nah, they each get them. We can only have one Negro of the moment, even at the cookout. Yeah, right, on, exactly. Man. Like, come on. Yo. So the first one is Yahya Abdul Mateen uh, the second. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna allow that. Of course. Yeah, yeah of course. he seems that, like a good dude. Yeah, I he, like seems, he guy, seems like man. he'd be cool. Um. I mean, up until a couple of months ago, I would have said Jonathan Majors would have been fine too. But alas, no. Yeah, it's like uh, no. Nah, you probably already got a Jonathan Majors at the cookout to begin with. You know, I don't need two. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we're being honest, like, look, unfortunately, oh shit, cookout. 
<sighs> Every family's like already sweep shit one. under the fucking rug. You know, but, um, yeah. you know how he be when he start drinking. Like, all right, <laughs> yeah, we got it. Mm. <laughs> no, don't give him no Hennessy. Yeah, all right, we know, we know, we know, cousin Daryl, we know. <laughs> um, look, Samuel L. Jackson, that easiest answer of all time. Yeah. Come on, yeah, that dude should be why, number one. Right? Get why up. is he even on the list? Why is he on the list? He should he should be telling people who can't come. Like, get the fuck out of here. Uh, Ryan Coogler, yeah, yeah, and he probably sound like your cousin anyway. So knock it off. <laughs> right. <laughs> he kind of looks like a thinner version of my brother, which is fucking wild. Yeah, um, he kind of does. Now you should say that. Yeah, especially in this does. picture. <laughs> yeah, he does. He really does. He does. And they kind of talk alike. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's just Ryan's a little more, you know, Mork, right? And yeah, he's a little bit more West Coast. Your brother's a little more, your brother's a little more Doug, right? Like, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> That's the that's the fundamental difference between the West Coast and the East Coast. That's it. Um, Drewski. Uh, look, I don't know I don't, a lot about him. I don't know um, who this is. But he's everything a, I've seen of that guy, he's fucking hilarious. He's a pretty funny dude. His skits are funny. Okay. Uh, again, stand up and skits are two different things. And I saw like a couple a couple minutes of his stand up. I'm like, this shit ain't funny. So oh. you know, he was in Baltimore a couple months ago, actually doing stand up. I think he's originally from like PG County or some shit like that. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> Look at a family cookout. You don't got to do. You don't got to give me sixty minutes. A couple of one yeah, yeah, you, you don't got to give me a hot eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you good. Like, no, I, yeah. I feel like I feel like stuff I've seen from him. He'd probably be pretty. He'd be pretty fun. Like, I'm not mad at that. Um, Patty Labelle. Look, you bringing those pies. Like, yes. I mean, she had everybody's cookout anyway <laughs> through them pies. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Like, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. Patty LaBelle uh, and your aunt going to be going to be fucking fighting over who's going to be in the kitchen. <laughs> like, nah, nah, Patty. I don't know. I, your, your pies are good. I don't know about the rest of your food. No, nah, look, just make that. A, just make that. You're going to have to bring a dish. <laughs> <laughs> also, Patty LaBelle seemed like the type of person, again, that would just sing everything she's saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Um, again, what I don't want this thing? nigga. My <laughs> again, <laughs> again, what you no, the no. fuck nah. out of here. No nah. thanks. <laughs> no, nah, yo, uh, I don't I'm need the rock at my family. Uh, I don't need to throw a rock in a case of Zoa or whatever the fuck is that <laughs> energy drink is. I don't, <laughs> I don't need that. At my <laughs> like, yo, you were supposed to bring the drink. She's like, yeah, like, I brought Terramana. Like we said, Hennessy. <laughs> I don't drink Hennessy, but like, I know the rest of it. Uh, it's but, not really good. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I look, look. This next, That's this next one is. Come on, this is Terrence. <laughs> Terrence is like, look, why is she even? I open? mean, look, this is a no brainer. She ain't akin to me. <laughs> exactly. Hey, look, we ain't say we ain't say family reunion. We say cookout. Yeah. Me- Megan the Stallion, uh, obviously, yes, that is an obvious. Let's get the fuck. Yeah, out. that is. I am perfectly fine. Uh, Jennifer Lewis, yeah, yeah. Jennifer Lewis is awesome. Again, yeah, she's awesome though. Yeah, she again. This is another one that's got stories, and another one that was sing out all, through all the stories. Yeah. Ah, look, Jennifer Lewis is a fucking icon, and is a seemingly a wonderful person, a complicated uh, figure, and I like her a lot. She is great in everything. Um, Dion Cole, um, he's coming, but he high as a motherfucker when he gets there. <laughs> I mean, like, I got to stay away from I don't like the smell of weed, honestly. I'd be like, yo, you got to get the fuck away from me. <laughs> like, you can, I, I you can come, you. but only do edibles, yo. <laughs> yeah. Relax. I remember we were at the, uh, I remember working at the gallery, right? The gallery, for those of you uh, not <coughs> from immediately where we are. Uh, is a is a is a mall. It's a tourist trap in downtown Baltimore. It's they a it's them? a mall. Oh, it used, it to, used be. to be. I guess I guess it's gone shit. now. <laughs> yeah. And it was uh it was four levels. Okay, um, Terrence and I worked at a GameStop on the fourth level, the highest level. One year, um, Method Man and Red Man came to town to play at Pier Six or whatever. And when I tell you that them niggas came in. Smelling high as a kite and funkified the whole damn mall, yo. I mean, they came in, 
It was like pig pen. It was like two pig pens <laughs> went for weed. And they, they, I mean, the whole, like I got a headache, yo. Like I'm such a bitch. I can't, I, I, I can't stand that shit. And I got a headache. I mean, uh, like, like tens of minutes after they were gone from the mall, <laughs> the minutes. smell was still there, yo. I yeah, couldn't I, believe it. Yeah. I rem- I was working there one day and he came in because I think he was on a wire at that time, um, playing cheese. Yeah. Um, and he came in. Smell like like the 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 smell of weed came in first, um, right. and then I'm like, oh shit! My first impression was like, oh god damn it, I hate the smell of weed. My second impression, this nigga's tall as shit. He had Tim's on, so they gave him an extra like two two inches, two three inches. He's like six five. He was like six yeah. five with the Tim's on. Um, wow, I need to go buy some. And then he, he and then he like <laughs> bought some some chick's uh, kid a video game because That's she was cool. like clinging like, to this nigga I like, like a goddamn koala bear. <laughs> like yo, like relax, <laughs> calm down. Yeah, just do edibles, man. Um, yeah, please. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Raphael Warnock. No, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want another. No, I don't want a rev. I don't want a man of the cloth. I don't want a man of the cloth. Between the atheist and the Christian, we have the same reasoning. No, I don't want a man of the cloth. You uh, probably already got that. a bunch of religious motherfuckers there anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that. Wanna, I don't want to hold you. Can't, you can't get you can't have fun, yo. You can't have fun when Nah when, yo. He yo, he preaches at MLK Jr.'s old church, yo. Like, nah. Cause if I say some wild shit during space, I don't wanna I don't need a side eye from the rev. Like, relax. Right. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> you can bless the food and then you can go. Like And then leave. Yeah, yeah. then leave. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe in that anyway, but like, good for you, Kiki Palmer. That's a hundred percent yes, hundred percent. Yeah, she's cool as shit, man. Yeah, she is. <laughs> her her appearance on Hot Ones uh, should be enough of an indication as to why she should. Be. <laughs> uh, Wendy, Wendy Williams. Williams, absolutely no not, absolutely no not. Nah, yo, nah. No. When did we get on my nerves, man? How you doing? Get out. <laughs> that's how i'm doing i hate that i hate that accent i don't know if it's put on i don't it's know if that's on. a natural voice well, she's i don't from like jersey it. no but when she uh, says that not be, particular but, phrase oh, oh how you on. doing yeah that, yeah that's put on of course it's like it's it's, it's nah, she puts a lot of like emphasis on it but like overall like i don't think she her, her actual accent is put on no but, uh, no, no that's, that's i like that i i just don't like her yeah thank you like i don't <laughs> like, not a fan. I wouldn't want her at the cookout. Like, nah, you would piss me off. No, I'm good. Plus, I, you know, I would be, I couldn't help myself, yo. I could not help myself. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't be able to help myself because she would get on my nerves and then I would do that and then I would be the bad guy. And I was just like, all right, no, all right. I love that. Then I would be the bad guy. Like, (laughs) what? Like you Why? did it first. <laughs> <laughs> Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. <laughs> Look, that shit like, was fucked up, but it was like fucked. a pee. Get away! <laughs> that's that just the weirdest body, yo. It's just bizarre. I um, think she has some kind of some issues, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, anyway, but like know. you know, I don't like her. She might, but the thing is, like, she's built her career off being a fucking asshole. Yep. So, like, if you want sympathy for me, it's, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not, yeah, you're not gonna get it. Yeah, she's a pretty reprehensible person. Um, yeah, no, this list, um, this list is fine. Uh, there's definitely um, other people I would, I, I choose. Um, but all in all, look, um, Terrence, you made this point, and I actually agree with you. To get serious for a moment, I'm tired of, I'm, I'm also tired of the like white celebrities that'll come to the cookout. Like, I'm tired of those kind of lists. Period. Like, they, they don't, don't include us like- in any of their shit. But we are yeah. always forced to include them in ours. It's, it's it's a bizarre sort of thing. Stop making again, these again, like you said. I don't. I was like, I wouldn't want to come to their fucking cookout because unless it's in like yeah. New Orleans or some shit like that. Unless yeah. they're like Creole, right. like then I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm on the first thing smoking because y'all niggas, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for, for real. Because that right, food is gonna be it amazing. Out. I don't give a fuck what color, yeah. black, white, Asian, <laughs> they can cook. Yeah. So, but I'll now, go to a, we're, we're I'll go to a, a poor in white the Midwest, <laughs> like a trailer park. Yeah, I'll go to a poor white person's cookout. Like I, I ain't got no problem, you know, 
doing that. Uh, yeah, they got seasoning. Just with seasoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. Again, it depends. The people, the people, it depends on the region. Again, right, right. It depends yeah, on the region. Right? The like, I'm not game, going to. I, I, look, I, I will. Like you said, uh, uh, in Louisiana, that's that's fine. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, in Texas, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Look, I'm even going to give you. Look, be fucking. It's going to be off the hook. Look, I've been right. to I've been to the Midwest. My my wife's white side of the family they live in um, Kansas City. Look, the barbecue out there is no fucking joke. This is the best barbecue I've ever had. Like, yeah, <laughs> but like, that's not, they didn't make it though. Like a, a place made it. Like they didn't make it. <laughs> I don't trust them yeah. cooking it. Yeah, I need a professional. That's, I need one of them fat trust. motherfuckers on a smoker for twenty four hours. <laughs> that's who I trust. They, they get up at three thirty yeah. in the morning. To put wood chips in a smoke. <laughs> right, that's the dude I trust. Yeah, you gotta have a. Yeah. Uh, if his belly is as big as the fucking size of that smoker, that's that, that's my nigga. I don't give a fuck. I mean, yeah. his food. If 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 he don't have to salt the food because he's sweating in the shit, then yeah, that's, <laughs> the that's the dude. That's the dude. Why want making my food? All right. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that's, that's oh fair shit. Point. So yeah. Um, all right, I think that's it uh, for this uh, pretty fun uh, preview episode. Uh, we will be back with episode 244, 1001. Remember that is streaming on Peacock. Uh, you can check that out, uh, starring Tiana Taylor. And we will see you guys next week. See ya. Take it easy. Bye. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies, past and present. And every other week, we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.